Yes, what's going on people? Welcome back to another photo walk. I hope you're doing well. In today's photo walk, we are going to Old Street. We're gonna start the walk there. We're gonna stay on the north side of the river, go through Bank, Temple, maybe pop into Soho, the West End, and then slowly make our way towards Earl's Court, which is where we will finish the day. It should be a nice walk. It'll, it's a very nice day, very sunny, so we should have some really nice golden soft light. In terms of cameras, obviously the X-T4 is coming out, as well as a 35mm F2 Prime. If you enjoyed these type of videos, please do consider subscribing, because in the future, these will make a much more frequent appearance as the world opens up here in London and elsewhere. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching. Um, yeah, see you in a bit. The main reason I start the walk in Old Street is because it allows me for a very convenient way to go through Shoreditch, City and end up at Bank in one continuous walk without having to jump on the tube or without having to go back on myself. Another good reason to start at Old Street is because you can literally take thousands of different routes to get to Shoreditch or to get to the city depending on the light and depending on the weather and generally just how you feel and how the whole place feels. So if it's a very moody cloudy day you can go straight into the city however if it's a very nice sunny day then you can go further into Shoreditch, stop at some markets, get some food and generally speaking see a lot of really nice light along the way. At this stage, you can go towards a brick lane if you want to carry on with the gritty sort of city east end type environment uh, just by simply walking straight. Or if you go right, like I'm about to do, you will head further into the city, specifically Liverpool Street and beyond. Today, I'm choosing Liverpool Street and beyond because the very nice light does create for very nice light when you get closer to the bigger buildings. As for camera settings, I'm keeping it very simple. So, aperture priority, around f4 aperture value, but that does change between f2 and f8, depending on the light and depending on how soft um, or not soft do I want the image to be. But f4 is a good number overall. 
In terms of focusing, I use the zone focus option, which is like the square with the small squares inside. And I try and keep the focus point always in the middle so that if I need to quickly recompose or compose, I don't have to worry about where I've left the focus last time. Generally speaking, that's it. Oh, the photometry setting is on multi because overall it gives me like the most balanced exposure and I would only go into spot metering if there's a specific lighting condition, but I would rather just use manual for that anyway. Whenever I'm out on a proper bright sunny day like this, the first thing I look for is light. If I don't see any light, chances are I will not even go and investigate to see if I can take a photo. Once I see light, I'm literally just drawn straight to it and then I figure out the rest of the image. The subject, the composition, all of that comes after finding good light. In terms of how to find good light, I mean good light is very subjective. What looks good to me might not look good to someone else. So my only bit of advice here is just go towards the light that interests you the most, that pulls you in the most and makes you want to go and take a photo and just look closer. Once you find it over time, you will refine what works for you and what doesn't, which is basically what I've done in terms of harsh light works for me, whereas for other people, they prefer blue hour or softer light. And the final tip when it comes to light is make sure that your highlights are preserved and well exposed. If your highlights are blown out, you'll find it very difficult to bring them back later in editing. Whereas with shadows, you do have a bit more flexibility. And this specifically applies for high contrast, sunny days like today.
pad while having coffee. Starbucks pad. Does the job. You know, even when the light's really good, like it is right now, sometimes you can, you, you physically just can't get a photo that you like. I've actually spent a bit longer in this location because the light was so good and I didn't really walk away with anything tangible. And sometimes that's just how it is. You can have the best conditions, the best light. I've even had the right subjects come in and out, but I physically just couldn't get the image that I wanted. And you know what? That's absolutely okay. Sometimes it will not work. You just have to accept it. It is part of the deal that you sign up to when you go out and do street photography or any unplanned photography. So yeah, it's one of those. Still a good walk, still a nice day. After Piccadilly, I headed into the Mayfair area, um, thinking there'll be some nice light, and there was very nice light. However, I just couldn't take a photo to save my life. Literally, everything, everything from this particular part of the walk ended up going in the bin because I just didn't like it, or it were just you know empty photos, if you like. There was no substance, there was no interesting subject um, and yeah as much as I bang on about good light having just good light on its own without anything else to support it doesn't unfortunately constitute a good photo at least in my opinion so for this bit I just carried on walking hoping for the best This was actually the last photo that I took on this walk. For the following sort of 10, 20 minutes, I just couldn't see any pictures worthwhile taking. And then after that, the clouds just came in and all of a sudden it went from really nice light to basically very dreary and very boring as you're about to see. Yeah, so as you can see, the cloud definitely came in and the light definitely became more boring. Now, I say boring and subjective, of course, because there are many people who love overcast, cloudy days, but it's just not my cup of tea. So 
I didn't feel very inspired. As a matter of fact, my camera was still very much switched off. And I just made a beeline for Earl's Court because I figured, you know what, I'm going to finish the walk. And if I can't take any photos, at least I'll burn some calories so I can go and have a pizza or something.